Hey everyone, hidden cause number nine why you still have low thyroid symptoms is you have anti-TSH receptor antibodies. Now that was a mouthful. Let me say it again. Hidden cause number nine is you have antibodies against the receptors for thyroid stimulating hormone. Now this is semi-technical, but I'm going to explain it to you this way. You know, normally uh, you've got a pituitary gland that sends a signal to your thyroid gland called TSH. The TSH then tells the thyroid gland to make T4 and T3. Now, kind of relate this, because this is an autoimmune situation we're talking about. The more common autoimmune cause of low thyroid symptoms is, of course, Hashimoto's, which we've talked about. But you can actually make antibodies to the little receptors for TSH. Now, these, this little antibody is often called a thyroid-stimulating immunoglobulin. Typically, people that have uh, antibodies against this TSH receptor are thought of as having Graves' disease. Now, Graves' disease is a hyperthyroid condition. It's completely different than low thyroid. So why am I saying this is a hidden cause for low thyroid? Because there's no rule about what these antibodies are going to do to that receptor. In Graves' disease, they attach onto the receptor and they stimulate more production of TSH and more production of thyroid hormones, causing hyperthyroid, okay? But there's no rule that they're going to do that. TSH receptor antibodies also show up in people that have Hashimoto's because TSH receptor antibodies can bind to this receptor and block it, meaning it's like you're not getting any TSH. And if you're not getting any TSH, you're not going to make any T4 or T3, and you're going to become hypothyroid. So what kind of symptoms would you have? Well, you would have the classical hypothyroid symptoms. You could have constipation, depression, hair loss, uh, fatigue, brain fog, high cholesterol, infertility, joint pain. Okay, Those are all things um, that you could have if you had TSH receptor antibodies. Very few people check for these for someone that has low thyroid. Because typically, and you, I'm telling you, if you ask 99 out of 100 endocrinologists you see, or GPs, or even people who are, understand functional medicine, and you ask them, TSH receptor antibodies, who, what kind of symptoms would make you want to run that? They would not say low thyroid. What they would say are things like uh, increased heart rate, racing heart, racing pulse, racing thoughts, feeling shaky. Those are all grave symptoms. Now, here's what gets really confusing. People that have Hashimoto's can kind of vacillate and oscillate back and forth between low thyroid symptoms and periodic temporary high hyperthyroid symptoms. Now, in Hashimoto's, the reason that's happening typically is because you get a flare-up and the immune system attack that's going on inside your thyroid gland explodes a little part of your thyroid and dumps hormones into your body and you get kind of a hyperthyroid overdose feeling. These TSH receptor antibodies are typically thought of as something that you only check for in grave disease. And this is why it's a hidden cause. So follow what I'm saying. You could have negative TPO antibodies. You could have negative TGB antibodies, but positive TSH receptor antibodies and still be Hashimoto's and still be low thyroid. I would be very surprised if you found a doctor in any field who would run that test and interpret it that way. But that's just a fact. That's what the literature shows and you know, how common is it? Well, it's not that common, but that's also why it can be hidden. So if you look like you have Hashimoto's, if you act like you've got Hashimoto's, if people think you've got Hashimoto's, but they won't do anything for you because they can't prove you've got Hashimoto's, then you might need to run this TSI or TSH receptor antibody test because if that's positive and you're hypothyroid, then you may have Hashimoto's. And then that's when you've really got to jump into gear because now you've got an autoimmune condition and there's a lot of stuff that's got to be done for that. There's things you need to avoid like the plague. There are things you need to be doing, but you've got to find someone that can help guide you through that like a detective. Uh, because there's a lot of mistakes you can make along the way. Trust me, I see people in here every day that make mistakes like you know taking iodine, taking tyrosine, and they don't mean to. It's just that those are mistakes until you find out what's going on with you. So hidden cause number nine is you've got TSH receptor antibodies, also called thyroid stimulating immunoglobin, which doesn't make sense uh, to a lot of people but they can bind, block, or stimulate that receptor and cause you to have hypothyroid symptoms. And they're real common in Hashimoto's patients. And I'll leave you with this. 15% of Hashimoto's patients test negative for TPO and TGB, but some of those people test positive 
for TSH receptor antibodies. So the moral of the story is get tested and then find someone that knows what to do to help you.